Hello, my name is Philip Schuhart, and this is a tutorial video on a super cool feature that I've been working on um, that deals with running profiles. So, in Caveware, I've just added this new feature, and essentially, it's just like the plan uh, carpeting, but instead, we're taking a profile, a running profile, and projecting it on the line plot. So, here's a running profile. Um, an example of running profile and here's our line plot so if you can imagine if we take that running profile and put it there it shouldn't really you know be straight we kind of want to end up with a projected profile so if we put this in profile mode um, you can kind of see this is what uh, kind of goes around in that circle anyways so we'll go back to making this uh, doing the running profile here click on scrap and we'll just start on clicking all the points around the outside of the area that we want to carpet. Super simple. All right, once we've done that, we add all our stations in. And this is just like the plan, but instead we need to t change the type from plan to running profile. Um, and you can notice that uh, um, north goes to up and we need to add in our station names here and this will automatically calculate the what the up vector is and the scale of this as you as you click um, if you want to do it manually you can always say oh I don't want to click it automatically and you can s sit here and click this little tool that will tell you um, what direction it is or you can type it in uh, this does affect how the um, warping works so for example, right now it's finished uh, doing the running profile, and you can see here this is our running profile. Uh, it's really, really cool. You can do this for the whole entire cave. But if we go back and we change this to say 180, so we're saying like the page notes are down, it'll actually flip this whole thing upside down because it doesn't really have a context of what direction it's going. It does pretty well uh, in the auto calculation. There's a lot of math that's behind this to make it work properly. Uh, but if you're doing some kind of like really weird angle, like say if you're running profiles at a 45 degree angle or like something strange, um, you should probably uh, you should probably use this tool to help you out on um, what what up is so you can see now we're upside down because we put the I put the up to 180 but we'll put it back to zero so that's uh, running the running profiles and you can easily take this and we have like say our projection say we want a north projection we can take this and then we can say oh, okay I want to export just this one area and now we have a running profile export um, if we go back to plan and we turn this around uh, and we select an, a, an area again, it doesn't really matter the area, say done, it'll be lined up. Of course we have no plan in here, but you can see that this this little bit here is now lined up with whatever direction that we have it in. So it's north up, this is assuming that it's north up. Um, so I wanna show you a, a bigger cave map that has a lot more running profiles generated for it. So um, we're currently in plan mode here and we have a lot of uh, sketches that have been drawn in and what's cool about the running profile stuff is when you're in plan view they kind of disappear but as soon as we start rotating this view now we have a running profile of the whole cave and what's really neat about this is say if we want like a north projection in a, a profile that this is our projected profile from the running profile, which is really, really cool. Um, and also just gives you kind of like a context of the cave, like, oh man, you know, well, one of these squares is 100 meters and you can kind of see like, okay, this is like a 40 meter tall passage or something like that, um, which is really cool. Definitely s sit here and spin around. Um, and you can see like we can even have really complex running profiles like this is one whole running profile right here it comes down comes down this passage it wraps around and then it comes back in on itself on an underlying passage uh, one thing i do need to add 
which is not in here is you really can't um, you can kind of see this is part of the plan uh, and it's just not warped all that great um, I need to basically have a way of turning off and on layers like so right now when you add running profile or add plan scraps in here um, there's no way to turn them on and off so there's not like a really a good visibility thing like for example you have this big area here uh, but it actually has a passage behind it so if you're trying to draw like a running profile it, it you know it's occluded by this big running profile bit here um, and it'd be nice to be able to like turn that on and off if you're exporting it to draw on a piece of paper but that's something to do in the future. But I wanted to just um, show this off because I think it's really super cool. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, thanks.